definitely want to take care of is coral. And you can see there is a lot of coral behind me. We have a lot of coral off of our coast, and it is such important habitat for the animals. About a quarter of marine life depend on coral reefs. And you guys are going to uh, answer our first question, which is about coral. What percentage of the ocean do you think coral reefs make up? Do you think it is 25%, 10%, or 2%? So while y'all are sending in your answers, Emily, can you tell us a little bit about the coral we have here? So the coral we have here in the Cape Fear Shoals is not real coral. As you can see, some of our safety divers are scrubbing the coral. And if it was real coral, coral we would not do that because it's very sensitive. We do not take coral out of the ocean because it is actually very hard for coral right now. So we, all of this is an exact replica of the, of the real Cape Fear Shoals. We took pictures and we came and we just created, recreated what we saw. If you would like to see some real coral, you can go to Exotic Aquatics, where if you find Nemo and Dory, you will see real coral, and we grow that right here at the aquarium. That's great. So our Pacific Reef habitat does have life coral, and like Emily said, we did not take it out from the ocean, but every other habitat you're going to see today does have fake coral. And that is because the aquarium cares about saving coral. It is facing a little bit of trouble, like Emily mentioned. When we use energy to run our everyday lives, we do burn fossil fuels like coal, oil, and natural gas, which emits carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, creating a heat trapping blanket around our planet, warming our waters, making it very hard for these picky corals to thrive and grow and survive. Um, and so that's why here at the aquarium we're committed to reducing our energy over this past year. The aquariums uh, across the state reduced our energy by 6% and we did that by making our lighting more efficient. We put our exhibit lights on timers so they're not running when they don't need to be. And we encourage you guys to find solutions within your communities to reduce your carbon footprint as well. All right, let's get back to our first question. It looks like we have a little bit of a tie between 25% and 2%. So Rick, can you tell us what the right answer is? All right, 2%, which does not sound like a lot. It's not a lot, but again, these uh, coral reefs make up a very important habitat for a lot of the animals out there. So even though it is a small percentage, it does play a vital role. And while coral reefs make up these building blocks for these animals, one animal that you see swimming behind me helps keep these ecosystems healthy and in balance. Do you guys see our sharks swimming around? Yeah, anybody here love sharks? Yes? Very good, awesome. I thought we might have some shark fans. Is anybody a little bit nervous about sharks? That's okay too. It can get a little bit of a bad rap. Well, Emily, do we have some shark teeth here in the Cape Fear Shoals? Yes, we do. If you come up here, you might be able to see some shark teeth. And our divers, they find shark teeth all the time in this exhibit. They do. And uh, Rick um, maybe has found some before, especially here on the bottom with the rocks. Um, and you guys might find shark's teeth too when you walk the beach. But our next question is actually going to be about shark's teeth. How many teeth do sharks go through in their lifetime? So send in your answers. And Emily, can you tell us what types of sharks we have in the Cape Fear Shoals? So in the Cape Fear Shoals, we have three different species of sharks and six individual sharks. We have the sandbar shark. And the sandbar shark usually likes to swim around the top. And that would be... I don't, um, if you were to picture a shark, you would probably picture the sandbar shark. We also have bonnethead sharks, as you can see on the left over here near Casey. And the bonnethead shark is the smallest shark in the hammerhead family. And these are actually full grown bonnetheads. And we also have sand tiger sharks. Our, our sand tiger sharks are juveniles right now. And fun fact, they cannot close their mouth because if they did, they would cut themselves with their own teeth. Yes, so six sharks, two of each species, three different species, and these guys are local. They're swimming right off of our coast right now, so it's really cool to be able to see them swimming. And it looks like most of you guys have guessed that sharks go through thousands of teeth. Wow, that's a lot of teeth. Rick, is that the right answer? All right, do you guys see what it says? 